Hello, welcome to the second video from Love the Night Sky. And in today's video, I am going to be looking at a Telrad finder scope. Now this is what's known as a reflex finder scope. It adds no magnification at all. You simply mount it on the telescope and look through this piece of glass here. And you may well be wondering, well, how does that help you find the sights that you're looking for, align your telescope, which after all is what we use a finder scope for. Well, the little trick it has up its sleeve is um, equivalent to a red dot finder. But if I switch this on here, group of three circles appears in the glass, which allows you to hunt down the particular part of the sky you're looking for and have it in your telescope's view piece. It's a bit hard to see, so a bit of... Oh, there we go, and there you go. So there you can see the three circles inside. Now don't worry, we are going to be having a close-up look in a second. That just gives you an idea of how it works. It is a fairly simple piece of kit. It's a big box of plastic. It's got the glass mount that you look through. And in terms of bells and whistles, it's got an on off switch, which adjusts how bright the light is when you're looking for, through it, the red light circles. It's got three adjuster screws to fine tune the placement of the circles in relation to your eyepiece. So it just matches up perfectly. And there are two retaining screws for the mount. The mount comes off from the finder itself and permanently fixes to your telescope. The mount can then come on or off from uh, the site itself. And then finally, a cover in which the batches are lurking. And we'll look at all of those in more detail in a second. The red circles inside the Telrad finder are half a degree across for the smallest one, two degrees across for the middle circle and four degrees across for the largest circle, which gives you a fantastic indication of how much of the sky you are looking at at any one time. The half degree and two degree circles in particular, you can line up and approximate with your field of view within the eyepiece which will invariably range between sort of half a degree and a degree for most applications. I thought it'd be interesting to have a look at a couple of things. First is how to change the batteries and while we were in there, have a look at how it works. So first of all, slide the cover off to change the batteries. The cover comes out. It's uh, not really a snug fit in there. So batteries held in place, battery pack held in place by some foam, a couple of batteries in there. And the foam holds it in place, which is uh, maybe not the most professional way I've seen it managed, but I guess it works. And then all it really is, is the red dot is produced down here. So there's a light bulb in here powered by the batteries and there you go, you can see the red dot come on and it shoots down to a, uh, a, a mirror down there that shoots it up through the lens here which maybe we can see there, yeah, it's confusing the camera but you can see it and then it hits this 45 degree angle glass there, not very clear to see there which means you can see the red dot, but it's not obscuring your view of the sky. Um, and when you've done the batches, put the batches in, simply slide that in and you are ready to roll. Switching the tailrod on and off, very simple. Just this dial here, on, around for brightness, back around again for off. So seeing that through here, 
on right up there for brightness back around again off for fine tuning where the red dot is and aligning it with your telescope there are three adjuster screws on the back of the tail rad uh, you can't quite see them at the moment because of the focus so keep an eye on where the red dot is it is going to go out of focus in a second and here we see the adjuster screws come into focus so there's one there one there one there and they're fairly simple to operate so the top one is a straight up and down movement see the red dot read the red dot up and down the bottom right moves it up and down but uh, towards the right like so and the left one does the same but on the left plane instead like so and then straight up and down again so alignment is possible and actually straightforward to achieve the tail rad is a large finder scope you can see uh, you know i've got fairly big hands and it's a it's a big piece of kit and it's chunky as well it's a big square chunky piece of kit and unusually it doesn't attach to the telescope with um, a bracket a screwed in bracket it attaches using double back sticky plastic basically um, it's easy enough to do these two loosening screws here allow you to remove the base so it's a separate piece of kit so stick the base to your telescope where you are happy with it and then make sure that goes back in there and then you can take the finder scope off and bring it in separately or pack it in separately from your telescope just leaving the mount in place so to wrap up the Telrad Reflex Sight Finder Scope is a very simple device that allows you to look through plain glass so there's no magnification you can line up exactly which part of the sky you're looking at and it's something that you can do with both eyes open very simply now personally i don't use one i've spent 30 years using a magnifying finder scope and i'm fine with that but what i will do in the main review article for this on love the night sky is put a resource list together so you can check out what other people think who are users and pretty much universally it's a positive review i hope you found this useful and i hope you stay tuned for our next video take care and clear skies